So you have this so-called mother and the reason why I'm saying so-called because I, I want you to be very, very close attention to how she's talking to her daughter. Now, you know, she got off of work because her daughter was skipping school and uh, they say allegedly, you know, getting, you know, getting blazed or whatever. Right. So she decided to try to embarrass her on social media. Let's roll that. Plan, you are. You sit here and take me through mother hell. What the fuck you expect from me? I'm trying to give you what the fuck you looking for. You want to be a class oh clown? You don't want to go to class? You don't want no education? You want to go to school looking like this? This? We don't even exit the door like this. You ain't that dance practice. What the fuck you think this is? I play mode. I'm about to beat your ass like real shit. I'm fucking tired. I just clocked off my job, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I don't even supposed to be at work, but to get out my own space, I took a job. I play mode, my Oh, it's finna get real real around this bitch. Real talk, let's go. I play mode. No, you got me fucked up. You wanna embarrass me? I'm gonna embarrass you. I play mode. I play mode. I play mode. Do you need some help? No. I play mode. We need some help. Leg. Now I dealt with teenagers, you know, as a father, and I will tell you at that stage, parents, it becomes very difficult because they transitioning into that adulthood. And there's so many things get in their mind. They think they know so much. They don't know nothing. Let's call it what it is. They ain't live long enough to know anything, but yet they think they know everything. Right. And then the influence of social media, that is a big influence. We used to say TV. Now it's social media. Everybody, you know, want to copy each other. Everybody wants this little fame and all of that. And it's, I think the peer pressure is worse today than it was when I was growing up. But as a parent, it's a certain way to handle that and a certain way not to handle that. Now I'm a firm believer of don't give your kids too much room to get into things. Understand what I'm saying? They got to know you got eyes and ears everywhere, especially in the digital age. It's real easy to have eyes and ears everywhere and let them know. Don't you think because I'm not around, I'm not going to find out what you got going on. You understand what I'm saying? I said, and I will make life very, very difficult for you in here. Now it's easier today to make life difficult for them than just doing what this woman did on social media. Let's call it what it is. Mom, this actually embarrassed you a little bit more than embarrassed her. Now you say, why, why I say that it kind of shows that your child is unruly and you're screaming, you're yelling. She doesn't really, she's kind of shut down. She's not really listening to you. And then you start making her do this airplane mode thing that you got, you know, the video is almost five minutes. I wasn't going to pain y'all to listen to that woman talk that way, because what kind of way that is to speak to your daughter? Or even if you're a son, you sound like a freaking man. You're calling this girl the N word every, every five minutes. You're cussing her out. I get you upset, but there's a right way and a wrong way to handle that as a parent. Now, somebody say, okay, Phil, what if it's your child? How you handle that? It will be a talking to. And after I talk to her and let her know how number one, I'm disappointed. Number two, she got to get her education. Okay. Because she can't be a dummy out here. That's for sure. Three, I'm definitely going to explain to her about, you know, getting a criminal record and how if you go in there and do something, you ain't got no business. I may let you sit a little bit just to get your attention. And then on top of that, I'm going to take away every privilege that she has. I'm taking the phone. I'm taking away the freedom. I'm taking away everything. And you're behind on being here just doing schoolwork and doing chores in this house. And you're going to enjoy your time when you get it back because you're going to be doing some good uh, working here. You'll be helping your mama. You'll be helping your grandmama. You're going to be helping me. You'll be helping everybody. You ain't not going to have no time for no friends. Since, since, since you feel that school's not important, well, let me show you what happens to people that don't have education, how they have to do all this manual labor all the time, not get paid crap. Then let me teach you that because you need to learn a lesson. It's a right way and a wrong way. I'm not going to sit up here. Listen, I got a platform. When have I ever took, you know, a video of my children and sit up there, oh, I'm going to embarrass you. These videos that parents have done in the past that went viral, right? If I'd done it, it would be 10 times more than that. But that would actually make me look bad, not them. 
because that video stays on the internet forever. Things that listen, some things belong behind closed doors and it needs to stay there. Not everything needs to be on the internet. The mom wasn't in, fully embarrassing her. She's cloud chasing at the same time. That's call it what it is. And I'll tell the mom that, listen, the mom, if you see this video, you're cloud chasing. You straight cloud chasing. You sound like a freaking man. And I don't even know men, fathers, that talk to their daughters in the way you talk to her. Why are you talking to her like you some dude from the block? And you wonder, this girl may be acting out because you no kind of feminine mother. The way you talking to her. That's not the way you talk to someone you love. You talking to her like she's your freaking enemy. Correct a child. That's fine. Listen, I'm about correction. I'm about that. But it's a right way to do that and a wrong way to do that. You correct your children in love. You don't correct your children in a manner like you, you being hateful. And as the video went along, she grabbed, she grabbed some dumbbells and made the girl try to hold her arms up with the dumbbells with the one leg up. Or she was threatening she was going to hit her with the belt. At that age, I don't need to hit you. I don't be hitting my kids like that. I don't. I don't have to. But I'm a man. I'm different. I could talk to them in certain manners and react certain ways with them, but I don't have to touch them like that. When you walk in your parental role, even moms that know what need to walk in their parental role don't have to touch their kids either. You screaming and yelling at the top of your lungs. You got to be hitting them 24 seven, all of that. You done lost control and the child knows it. Children are smart. They know when you lose control. And when you can't control your emotions and control yourself and you got to resort to trying to embarrass her on social media when it's your failed parenting, because you failed at parenting. I understand kids going to do things. We can raise them the best way we can, but it makes you look bad, sis. Go take some femininity classes. Stop saying the N word every five minutes and cut saying the MF every, every two seconds too. You sound like a masculine, you know, female. I don't see how any kind of man would like some crap like that. Women supposed to be soft. Women supposed to be feminine. Women supposed to be our complete opposite as men. We don't need to be hearing no, no so-called female sound like another dude. But y'all let me know in the comments you think about this so-called mom, you know, with this, you know, young lady here. Like I said, I, I definitely would correct her if she was my daughter, the way she's dressing. I would correct all of that. I would correct it. But it's ways to correct that as a parent. And this was not it.